Have you ever wondered kung paano lagyan ngayon ng mga blurred areas yung mga certain sections ng video ninyo? If you don't want your viewers to see it, so in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do it. To start it off, now we can choose any type of videos that you want to use to apply your blur effect on a section of your video. I can import any video from my previous files. Let's just say one way back from 2021. Let's choose at least one over here. This sample clip. And let's drag it here on the timeline. There we go. There we go. So this is a sample clip of the restaurant where we had our brunch before and let's just say that I wanted to blur out the motor shop right next to the restaurant eto moto spot and what we're going to do let's look for this certain effect on the effects panel of Filmora 11 and search for mosaic there there are several types of mosaics that we have here on the effects section of Filmora 11 and it's either I'm going to use the mosaic full or just a simple effect as mosaic where in merong rectangle dito sa gitna. This is exactly what we're looking for. So what we need to do is to drag this effect on top of the timeline and fill in the whole duration of the clip. Ngayon pa lang nakikita nyo na ngayon yung section wherein in the very middle of the video, there's this rectangle that pixelates a certain part of the whole frame. So now, what we need to do is to adjust the size of the pixelated part and drag it on to the section that we don't want to be seen. And there are instances na ginagawa ko to. For example, meron ako mga brands na ayoko makita ngayon do sa video ko. Usually do this kapag may mga ganun akong type of content. And there are instances na ginagamit ko rin to to blur out any parts of the images na ayoko makita, especially when I do my hotel vlogs. Kung mapapansin yung mga previous videos ko, laging naka-blur out or naka-pixelate yung mismong brand pin ko sa uniform and even my nameplate. Even though you know me, but still, the logo of the brand that I don't want to be seen is still part of the whole frame of the video. Kaya, nilalagyan ko siya. There, nakalagay na ngayon yung mosaic effect natin on top of the main timeline. And we can actually adjust this effect depending on our taste. For example, once you have clicked this effect button on the timeline, you will see three sections that can be adjusted. The type, the type, the blur amount, and the opacity. You have several types of mosaic effect that you can use within this effects panel of Filmora 11. And you can give it a try one of these and see it, how it would look like on the main vid. So there are pixelated, May horizontal, meron din namang circular mosaic. So what I usually do, para hindi siya masyado masakit sa mata, I use the default mosaic effect. That's how it would look like. And you can also adjust the blur amount depending also on your taste. So if I max it out to 100, halos wala na kayo makita. Translucent, kumbaga, yung term. But you can also adjust this. Let's just say around 20. There. And the opacity, if you bring it all the way down, Kumbaga magiging transparent ngayon yung mosaic natin. But what you're after is to blur out that section. Then we have to adjust the opacity. At least around 80 to 90. Pero if you want to be sure, max it out to 100. And there. So there. Ganyan lang kadali gamitin ngayon yung mosaic effect in order for you to pixelate some sections of your videos if you don't want them to be seen on your frame. And there, that's how you pixelate a section of your video using Filmora 11. And if you guys like this content, don't forget to hit the like button on this video, click subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well para update kayo sa mga upcoming uploads ko. That's about it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!